get something falling on it. Welcome to the channel. We are fishing with uh, live shrimp and basically just a leader line, 20 pounds, um, a little uh, basically a pointed uh, split shot. I guess it's a pointed sinker and a uh, two odd hook, a uh, hook through the crown of the shrimp's head. That way they can still flip and look natural. So let's give it a shot out here. Right up in that hole. See if we can get a redfish to suck it in. It's been uh, very windy the last uh, three or four days, so it's um, hard to say what's going to happen with the bite. Well, well. Look what I caught. Probably looks huge in the camera, but no. Something decent on now. What it is? Could be a little red. Could be a sheep head. Nice red. Probably 17, maybe 18. Get him off real quick. Back in the water. Come on, buddy. There we go. One dot. These guys are uh, really good eating. You gotta cook them a little bit extra long um, and that tenderizes the meat. I'll do a uh, cook and clean on these once I catch a couple keepers. All right, back in the water, buddy. Let's get our uh, bait back in the water. Hook these right through the crown right here. Let's get it, the circle hooks, you gotta get them at an angle. Just like that. That way they can flip if they want to. Let's get back out there and see if we can get another one. Maybe a little bigger. Got a uh, Daiwa XD 4000 series with a 12 pound line and about a 20 pound leader with a six foot long. We have an outgoing tide, almost low tide right now. So fishing has been a little bit, little bit difficult. Got a sheephead playing with it right now. If I can catch him. Nice little roseate spoonbill there. Kind of a nice little surprise seeing one of them back in here. He's not too skittish either. He's staying right there. We'll see if we can go by him and not make him fly. Hopefully you can see him on the camera. He's uh he's probably only maybe yeah, 50 feet away from me. I could cast to him easily. Oh, there he goes. Now he just flew a little bit. So this deep area up here, we've caught some nice reds in. So let's give it a shot again and see if I can pull some some decent sized reds out of here. I'm hiding in the uh, mangroves today because the wind's blowing really hard. Oh, see that? That was a red. Red one right after it. Can you get an idea how tight we are right in here? Little red. 
All the school of them there. See them all? A whole bunch of them in there. About the same as that last one I caught. 17-ish. There we go, buddy. She back in. Take off. There we go. There we go. Oh, had him. Still got a weed on there. <clears throat> there we go. There's a nice one. Taking some drag too. Oh, guess what? He's some little red, but he's a fighter. Come on, buddy. Come on up. Make yourself known on our channel here. Let's get you. Make sure you're good to go. Oh yeah, he's gone. That's a big shrimp. He will catch a nice size red. Watch that line. See it? There we go. Got one on. Decent one. I think he's as big as a shrimp. Oh, look what we got here. Got us a sheephead. Not quite a keeper, but he's, uh, they pull, they sure do pull for the size. Get him unhooked real quick. Watch their uh, teeth will bite you. <laughs> he's a good size one. See? The uh, wood stork flying in. Such a beautiful place. You see a lot of nature here. Roseate spoonbills, wood storks, white, pel white pelicans. Um, catching a lot of variety of fish. It's a little gem here. that line to move. There it goes. I think I got a red. Oh, no. That was uh, what that was. Whatever it was, it took my bait. So far, it seems to be left side is sheephead, right side is red. So let's see if this is the truth here. Let's go on the right side and see if we can get a red. There we go. You sent one. They are coming through here, man. Yep, a red. I kind of called that, didn't I? He's a pretty one. Nice hook on him. There we go. No dot. Interesting. That's the first red I might have caught without a dot on it. Huh. 
So sometimes it's watching the braided line is your best indicator of a bite. Oh. Somebody messing with it. Probably a sheep head. Right side. Right for the reds. Watching that line laying there, see it? Watch for it to kind of straighten itself out and you'll know something's pulling it. There it goes, something's starting to pull it. Might have been a sheep head, but oh, there we go. There we go. That feels like a sheep head. Yep. Oh yeah, it's a decent one. He's pulling hard. That's a nice little sheep head. These are really good eating, but you got to get them at least 14 inches. The legal limit's 12, but 14's the size I like to get that or above because you don't get a lot of meat off of them. You lose a lot in the rib area. But um, for the most part, they're, yeah, you gotta watch it, they'll bite your hook. Let me try this new extractor thing that we all bought. So this thing is a, it's like a hook grabber. So you just get down the hook and you grab it. Hmm, Worked nice. Timu. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot you had need, need a little drink, didn't you? Yeah, somebody was thirsty. Probably a sheep head, I'm guessing, but no, a little red. Pulling pretty good, too. Ah, oh, look how I caught that one on the gill plate. Hmm, it's pretty good. So he's about 17, 16 and a half exactly. There we go. Back at it, another red. Pulling. Come on, buddy. <clears throat> All right. Again, right by the belly. Come on, buddy. There you go. Get you unhooked. Let's do another underwater. Really? Oh, halfway. He took off quick. As soon as he felt that water, he's gone. Let's see. How long before we get another one? Something just nudged it. There we go. Another one. I don't take too long. And a nice little rat red.
<laughs> Caroline, let it drip on her for a minute. This guy swallowed it a little bit. I'll have to get the uh, extract if he takes off. He's gone. I gotta get that sinker pinned. Ah, that's a spot right there. Getting a bite. Oh, there we go. There we go. He's pulling me. In front of the boat. It's a little one, but he's pulling hard. Nice little red. Him on the lip, which is good. He's decent size. He's probably close to 18. There we go. Oh, there's a decent one. Get you off, bud. There we go. Another nice little double dotter there, see? Yeah, let's do another underwater release. I like those. Oh, it's the camera. <laughs> He's a bigger one or a fighter? Yes, not the way he's coming up. Oh, that's Fred. He's the fighter. Good job, buddy. You are the best fighter yet. Nice. There we go. Nice little fish. Again, he's probably close to 17. Um, we'll just let him go. They like diving in. Gone. There he is. Oh, lost him. That might have been a sheephead. You also got to let them take this for a second, too. Uh, those reds will grab them and not swallow them. They'll just kind of grab them and swim away with them. And you got to let them take it so they get it in their mouths. So I might have made a mistake there and didn't let him take it. Again, he, he swiped it. Might have been a sheephead. Could be a sheephead out there working that area. Definitely a sheephead. Well, maybe not. That might be a red. That's probably number 16.
Come on, buddy. Let's get you off. Just got him hooked, too. Get you unhooked. There we go. I got you. All right. He seems a bit longer. No dot again. That's the second rat I've caught with no dot. Not even on the other side. Huh. Maybe that's common. I don't know. Let's rocket you right in. Ready? Another one. Oh, there we go. Try to drag up a bit. He's pulling pretty good. There you go. He's got a nice dot on him. Get that dot shining for you. Let's see if it focuses. I'm not sure if it will. Very pretty fish. Not much for teeth. Oh, that was a good dive. Less splash. <laughs> there we go. Let him take it. Nice little red there. Gonna surf on in. I think he was caught before by the looks of his lip. There's one. A little one, whatever that is. Oh, a little sheep head. Look at him. She's a baby. She's a little baby. Yep. Yeah. Pretty good. Two thumbs up on the Timu hook extractor.